Hi there and welcome to the 5th episode of the Streaks and Strokes Guided Painting Session. My name is Luke and I'll be your instructor for this video. So for today, we'll be painting a cute, simple corgi cartoon onto your t-shirts. So if you're ready, let's get started. To start, place a piece of carbon paper followed by the printed design onto the side of the item you want to paint on. Make sure you have a pencil to trace the drawing onto your tote bag or t-shirt. You can place some tape on the sides to prevent the papers from shifting while tracing. While tracing, avoid resting your hands on the carbon paper too much as this might create smudges on the item which will be hard to wash off. Remember to not fully remove the papers until you have made sure that the whole drawing has been traced. Once you're done with the tracing, you can remove the carbon paper and printed drawing. If the outline isn't clear, you still can draw over the outlines with a pencil so that it can be seen when you're painting later. When you're ready to start painting, place the envelope or a piece of paper in between the shirt or tote bag so that the paint doesn't go through. For t-shirts, I suggest folding the sides to the back of the envelope to make sure paint doesn't drop on these parts. If you'd like, you could even use clips to fasten the sides as well. For this painting, we will only be using ruby red, chocolate brown, honey beige, and ivory white. This painting requires lesser colours than normal, but we'll still need to do some mixing beforehand. First, we'll mix brown and beige to get the nice golden brown of corgi fur, and then mix red and white for the pink of the tongue and ears. Finally, we'll mix brown with only one to two drops of black or blue to get a darker brown for outlining later. Now we can start painting. Remember to use a smaller brush for details and a bigger one to cover larger parts of the painting. Spread as much paint as you can and try not to leave excess paint blobs on the painting itself. I would suggest to only use the palette when you need to mix colours. So, for colours that don't need mixing, just take the paint directly from the bottle to prevent wastage of any excess paint that you don't use during your painting session. As you can see, I chose to paint all the white parts first because if you make a mistake at this part, you'll be able to cover the white with any other colour later. Remember to wash your brushes each time you take a new colour of paint. One tip would be to ensure you have a cup of water and some tissue beside you anytime you're painting. Don't worry about not painting too straight or the paint coming out of the tracing as you're going to outline this painting later. 
and you can use these black lines to cover up most of these errors. Now, we'll start outlining the painting. Instead of black, this time we'll be using the dark brown we mixed earlier to paint these outlines. Rest your arm on the table so your hand is more stable when painting, and do not take too much paint at each time. You can dip your paintbrush tip in water so that the paint is smoother, but do not take too much water as well. And now your painting is finished. Use a hair dryer to blow dry your painting, or you can leave your painting to dry until there is no more wet paint on the painting before bringing it to be ironed. Iron your t-shirt or tote bag for roughly 10 seconds to fully dry the paint on it. After that, you can use it, but only wash your item at least 4 days after ironing it. We hope you enjoyed today's guided painting session. If you have any feedback or questions, do let us know in our Facebook group. Also, feel free to post any of your cartoon corgi t-shirts and tag us on Facebook or Instagram to stand a chance to win in our monthly giveaway. See you in our next painting session.